What's up, everybody? It's Matt Clark at the new Matt Clark. Uh, it's Sunday on the long weekend, and I, you know, obviously I don't have much of a life. Uh, but that's only because I'm at a point in my life now where I will not sacrifice quality of friends just so I'm not lonely. Uh, that's something important. So, anyways, uh, I want to speak a little bit more about Tyak uh, and some things that I saw while I was there. Uh, it was a particularly hellish place, uh, and there was it was really unruly. Even though uh, there was a guard on range most of the time, uh, fights would just pop off really quickly. And when a code was called for one particular range, all the guards would run there, and then a code would happen on another range because they'd be left unsupervised. So. Uh, you'd hear code after code after code because people would jump on the opportunities. And uh, I think the problem is you put 16 and 17 year olds in that kind of environment and they just have too much time on their hands uh, and not enough ways to release their energy. Uh, you get a little concrete yard once in a while, but other than that, pretty terrible for, for kids. So uh, I just want to say that uh, one particular instance that I saw uh, which was particularly horrible. It was this one day, everybody was, you know, extra wound up. Uh, it just happens sometimes in youth. And men were, these, sorry, not men, but I guess boys, were, had all congregated into the washroom uh, and had taken a couple people of the weaker variety and were making them blow bubbles in water that had urine and feces in it two popular songs at the time, such as Rough Riders Anthem, uh, or Still Not a Player, uh, and it was pretty dang old vis vicious, and not something I particularly agree with, but it was a dog-eat-dog -dog place, and if you did not become a dog, then you were the prey, and that's just the way it is. Uh, you, you had to stand up for yourself, and you had to join in in the in the politics and in the games because if you showed at any time that you were weak you would just become a target so you had to be involved and that and that's uh, what made the environment particularly bad uh, so anyways after hours and hours of bubble blowing uh, well maybe not hours and hours because we only had so much time out but particularly long time bubble blowing uh, I saw this kid so he's a young small kid from Barry at the time and being from Barry and being in Tyak made you automatically a target especially if you were a small white guy from Barry and there was four men surrounding this dude and inside a styrofoam cup they had a piece of feces a big piece of feces and they were threatening to smash him if he didn't eat it so uh, because I'm a human being and I don't ever want to see something like that uh, you you try to reason with these dudes, but you know they're they're sixteen and seventeen year old thugs who don't really care what I have to say or authority has to say, and they're not being given an outlet to get rid of that energy. And so it, it came out in bad ways, and I hate to say it, uh, it may be one of the most horrible things that I've seen. But he ate it. Well, he didn't eat it, but he bit it. And literally, as soon as his teeth made contact, he projectile vomited everywhere. Uh, he ended up getting taken off the block. Obviously, uh, it wasn't safe for him there. And that's just one terrible instance uh, that I saw in Tyak. Another terrible instance that I saw in Tyak uh, was two guys getting an argument over a phone. And the one guy kind of had bullied his way onto the phone and was literally sitting there on the phone talking to his girl, head against the phone. And the other guy came sprinting down the range and drop kicked his head into the metal phone. Out cold, like a light, taken out on a stretcher. Uh, and phones is a, 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 are a particularly uh, big problem in all jails. Uh, I think that... Because we have zero, we own nothing when we're in custody. Uh, I think people try to hold on to something. So you get this kind of bully on, on top of the mountain attitude where 
people will try to claim phones or claim desserts or just claim things uh, just to show that they're tougher or badder man. Uh, and that's just how prison works, uh, even in Young Offender. Uh, there was all kinds of smash ups. We would literally smash up uh, just for fun. We would fish in the phones, fish the TVs, fish in garbage, can, garbage cans, flood the toilets. Uh, man, Tayak was a crazy place. Uh, for me though, I actually got to a point where I kind of enjoyed Tayak. Uh, I became a cleaner in A&D, which means I had access to where the guards would throw out all their cigarettes, the property cigarettes, cigarette butts. Uh, so, you know, I, I actually gained quite a good little hustle uh, at the time for, for my age, you know, I was a 17 year old white kid from Richmond Hill who was actually thriving in Toronto Youth Assessment Center, uh, when maybe there was 10 or 12 white guys spread out throughout the population and then all the rest were on 7A, uh, but that's just pretty much how it went. But I'll tell you what, it got shut down for, for good reason. Uh, kids were hanging themselves and when kids are hanging themselves off of the top bunk where their feet can touch the ground, that means they're willingly holding their feet off the ground so they can die. That's a problem. And, uh, I, I just don't think young offenders should be put that through that kind of stress, uh, that kind of isolation. They need to be socialized. And, uh, for the most part, uh, a lot of them weren't there for murder. Uh, mind you, there were some that were in Toronto Youth Assessment Center for murder, actually quite a bit. But it doesn't matter. Uh, somebody who kills somebody when they're 16, their life shouldn't be over. Uh, you know, people are capable of change. Uh, it doesn't happen in everybody, but people are capable of change. So, uh, I remember the bags of milk in the Toronto Youth Assessment Center. So, we would get these little bags of white milk uh, and they would always come sour. So you would bite into it and, oh, it's horrible. Uh, and to make it up to us, they'd give us chocolate milk. And uh, it, it, was a, it was a crazy place, uh, but it wasn't good. And uh, honestly, I've never, I've never seen a place develop so many bad mans in my life. Uh, you go throughout the penitentiary system in Ontario, and I guarantee you most of the guys who are from Toronto have been through Toronto Youth Assessment Center or the West Attention, uh, West Attention Youth Assessment before that. And, uh, you know, you're put into a strongest survive position at 16 to 17 years old. And what else are you going to do except try to become uh, a predator and survive? You know, because it's a that's a true dog eat dog world. In the adult jails, uh, at least there's respect. Uh, on some level uh, and uh, a decent level of compromise. In Young Offender, there's none of that. Sometimes you're being punked off the minute you walk through the door. Uh, if you don't fight for it, it'll happen every day. And sometimes you'll just keep fighting and fighting and fighting. Uh, maybe even just because of the color of your skin or the, because your face looks funny. Uh, it's a very unforgiving place. Uh, and you must be a formidable opponent to, to survive there. And that's just the reality. Uh, I would say anybody who's going into youth, uh, listen up. It is not safe. Uh, they're going to tell you it's safe and that they're going to look out for you. But you need to look out for you. I would say that uh, the most important thing is not letting anybody punk you off. Uh, obviously, we don't want to uh, escalate into violence. But... At the same time, you need to stand up for your food and you need to stand up for your rights to use the phone uh, and other things that are like that and, and important to you. Uh, do not mouth off to the guards. This is very important. Uh, guards shouldn't be beating up inmates or uh, anywhere, uh, but specifically in Young Offender, but they do. Uh, if you're fighting, they'll beat you up a lot of the time. Uh, sometimes they'll just beat you up for being mouthy. Uh, I've seen it happen lots of times in young offender and adult, uh, and it's something that you need to be careful for. So when, when you walk into Andy, if you're going in for your first time, whether you're an adult or young offender, you do not need to be mouthy. You do not need to prove you're tough. Uh, you'll have an opportunity to do that when you get up on, on range. 
if you do it in A and D, you're just putting yourself in danger. They could possibly also end up putting you on the most dangerous uh, or or the range that you're less likely to succeed on, uh, which you don't want. Be in their good graces. That doesn't mean you have to uh, say sir or give them any kind of uh, uh, title of respect. All it means is you just keep your mouth shut and just go through the process and get up to your block. You're going to have enough, uh, your hands are going to be full enough without worrying about that. Uh, but anyways, to the young offenders, if there are any young offenders that watch my channel that are going to be going in, uh, just be safe, man. Uh, just be you. Don't try to be somebody that you're not. Uh, there's, there's, you get zero zero points or zero stripes for faking uh and uh it shouldn't even be about that you need to you need to make your own decisions and be your own person and not worry about pe what people think about you but worry about what you think about you and where you want your future to go uh anybody who is going in uh, my my heart's there for you uh keep it safe uh if for young offender, they're not going to offer you offer you much rehabilitation. So you need to do that on your own. You need to take control of your own life. Uh, nobody's going to take control of it for you. And I think it's really important that you take the steps when you get out to make life improvements. Uh, and that's to adults too. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed these videos. They're not all going to be crazy stories. Sometimes I just want to try to help. Uh, explain the best ways to do things in the on, in Ontario. Uh, you'll get a lot of my stories about different things, which I'll have lots of. And I really, really, really appreciate all the new subs. You guys mean the world to me. I will keep uh, coming with these good stories. And uh, I hope you all keep listening and my subs keep growing. Peace. Or you can hit like it, please. And hit me up on Instagram at I am the new Matt Clark. Thank you.